Um, my name is Shravan. I'm from Bangalore. Uh, I've had the pleasure and the privilege of uh, traveling around the world for quite a bit in my life, so I'm going to do a few accents for you guys. Do we have any uh, any cricket fans here tonight? Yeah. yeah. I love cricket. I love the World Cup. I just wish the World Cup was more of a real World Cup. You know, I wish we had some truly international characters. You know, I, I, I would love the day when we see a proper umpire from the from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I want to see an umpire from Africa, a man who has been converted to Christianity. He will talk in a slow, polite manner. I want to see the umpire in the right way. I, uh, I want to see a uh, fast bowler from Italy. There are many uh, accents from Italy and they get stereotyped in the wrong way, but you must know this is the right way. It's a slow, it's nobody in Italy says oh, I'm a Mariah. No, 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 nobody talks in that manner. I, I want to see a fast bowler come in, ball his ball, turn and appeal to the umpire and say, how is that? <laughs> How is that? I ask you. I ask you. I ball the ball. Ball hit his back. Ball goes to stamp. He's out. How is that? The umpire from Congo would say, Good afternoon, sir. I believe your appeal is both frivolous and insulting. I don't think this ball would have hit the stone. Please go back to your mark and ball again. Arun, Arun. Arun, you tell him to move. Excuse me. That's just like step one. Thank you. you know, we got to see, I want to see a brooding French batsman standing at the non-striker's crease. His bat in one hand, his cigarette in the other. You know, saying, he never lets me eat the ball. Yeah, I stand here all day. Not one time he lets me eat the ball. Yeah? All the time I'm here, I spend one day standing at this side. Nobody lets me eat the ball, huh? I don't care, I fuck this vibe. I don't care. <laughs> it's okay, it's no problem. I, don't know. I can almost imagine the Australian coach who's gonna coach the French side saying, Well coach, if if you really wanna learn to spell fast, you've gotta to learn to, to sort of not spell words, right? And try and aim this line, you know, try and stick to your line. And really learn to extend yourself, right? And try and yeah, just, just try and bowl like the fucking strains, by the way. That's what's more saying, so, you know. To which the friends do. Uh, F up to F2, so it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> the, the, one, the one country I want to see play, play cricket is Russia. Because I, I, I have... No, it's true, I have many friends from Russia. You know, for them, they think cricket is a game for, uh, for pussies, but... You know, one day I want to see a guy called Igor, Igor Vladimir Chaviev, I don't know. He comes to the crease and that and say, if you get me out, if you get me out, I send my boss to kill your family. So, you can choose. You want to get me out or you want to let me hit six. It's your problem. My name is Igor, I see you next Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> There's, uh, of course, I... See, that's, that's the players and the umpires. There's one, there's, there's one stage about that. I want to see the commentary team of a guy from St. Mark's Road, Bangalore, and a guy from Spain. Okay, because I think that would be an awesome, awesome combination. The thing about Spanish people is, even when they speak English, they still sound like they're speaking Spanish. Kind of like the um, Punjabi guys that were, you know, so wonderfully shown earlier. You know, uh, because when you are from España, your tongue is numb, and you are talking like this, and you have a problem. So, you can do can he bought the ball on his phone, but he don't get out. So, for me, for me, for right, but it's okay. So, this is this, a um, guy from St. Mark's Road, Bangalore, and saying, Chow, what are you talking about? <laughs> See, this guy always talking. Standing up. He's standing here talking like he knows what he knows, Bob. Oh, he got it. I used to be a player, Bob. I used to go to the stadium every morning, 7 o'clock morning, how I clipped the, the ball came down. He bowled it, he bowled, I clipped it, Macha. How I clipped it. I belted that ball, Bob. Oh! I love, I love in Bangalore how 
any verb can be used for anything. You know? You know? Bob, that ball, na, he sent it. Yeah. How he sent it, bro? Just see, huh? Just see how he sent it. From there right, to there, right? Sent it like crazy. Awesome. <laughs> 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 well, thanks, guys. Um, I know, I know. Uh, there's, there's one match which I really, really want to see happen, but it's not going to be a cricket match. I want to see a smoke off between the Dutch team and the West Indies team. You know? You know, I want to see who can grow the most chase in the this time. You know, because I think the the, the 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 Dutch team have a great chance at this. You know, Dutch is a very chill out country. It's a very chill out action. You know, if you're from Holland, from Amsterdam, from Rotterdam, you're speaking in a very very calm way. You can share my name. Where's the other smoke weed? You know. Whereas the guy from Jamaica, it's quite a whiny accent. You know. Most of these guys are used to bowling cricket, uh, to bowling balls, playing cricket. But they're real passion, man. The real, the real sport in Barbados or Jamaica or seeing kids is smoking a reefer, man. So I think, I think in a in a in a battle of weed between Jamaica and the West and uh, the Netherlands, I think Jamaica will probably come out on top. Wow. Of course, you know there is there is one team missing. And it's all fucking Wales Cup. You know, there's, there is there is one team who should have been that. That is Scotland, right? Oh, uh, the Scots, the Scots. I mean, the fucking Irish. Like, for fuck's sake, how the fuck did they actually get the Wales Cup? For that, for that. Um, I want to see the Scots then. You know, buying one hand. You know, bottle of fucking whiskey in the other. You know, trying to bat. I mean, that would be a great laugh. I mean, I don't care if we win, we lose. Let's be honest, the only real sport, the only real uh, sporting event of any caliber in Scotland is Celtic against Rangers. You know, that's about it. Football is the only, is the only vice they got there. So, yeah. of course, seeing them play the Irish would also be a great treat, you know, because most of the Irish guys, they're, they're not these big fat guys as they're shown on TV and that, you know. Most Irish guys are just good men, just good lads named Paddy O'Reilly or Mickey O'Paddy, whatever the fuck his name is. You know, sat in pubs, drinking Guinness and that, you know, just thinking about how much we hate the fucking English. Um, and the Irish guys beat the English in Bangalore. We should have thrown them a fucking party. We should have done something. They beat the English. We couldn't. We couldn't, and they did. So let's have a cheer for the fucking orange, eh? Yeah. Guys, uh, I just want to say it's my first time on stage. Yeah! And, uh, thanks for the